Welcome to The Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Engineer's Life 2. This is a start over of the mod pack. The reason that I am starting this over is because it had a lot of changes done to it. I was uh, I did that what is mod pack uh, setup when it was in beta, and a lot of the pack has changed, including a bit of the world gen even changed while I did this. Kind of made the world a little bit wonky, so I'm starting over. I don't feel that I'm really losing too much because the pack itself uh, has changed how it progresses. So let's get into this and I can show you a little bit better about how it's changed. Here we are in the world, which is frozen. There we go. It does take a second for everything to kick in when you first uh, pop into the pack because pretty much uh, it has to load everything on the maps, has to give all the AI directions, everything like that. Plus, you have to be teleported into a village. That's right, you always start in a village somewhere. And I did change the seed on this one as well. I went with Engineer. Uh, it seems to be a pretty decent seed. Pug did not really uh, work out for me as, as well as before. Oh my gosh, there's a rattlesnake. Nope, nope, not doing that. So let's uh, let's look around on the map for a moment. I already see an engineer's house. This is what I want to go for, uh, basically because that's what we set our base up in last time, and we're going to need to do so again. Now there's plenty to go on in this. Let's see if I can actually get over here. Hopefully there's no other mobs nearby. Cool. I've got to... I can't break that unless I've got a, the proper tool to do so, but at least I know I'm safe inside. <laughs> I say that, and there's a cactus right here. If I step on that, it's going to hurt. Let's open the book and take a look at what we can do here. Uh, quest types and rewards. Hello there. Hello there. Welcome to Engineer's Life 2. This is your guide quest book. That's right. It is. And we're done with that one already. Quest types and rewards. There's all sorts of different things in here. I've pretty much read this before. I did get a torch to start with. There is a text guide that you can actually check out. Uh, I highly recommend it if you really are uh, relatively new to it or you just want to get a, an overview of what's in the pack. Uh, just enough items. It gets you some really good information on the uh, how to find recipes and progress with stuff when you're not looking at the quest books. Um, and then we can move on to some other things. There's new mechanics. Uh, there's a couple of new mechanics that this pack and plays descriptions of which you'll find following this quest. You can always come back here to read them again. Uh, you can gain variable benefits for eating a greater variety of foods. That's one thing. Uh, level up your abilities by gaining experience and skills, mining combat endurance. This has changed considerably, but that is still in here. And harvest groups of blocks at a time to speed up mining, harvesting, and tilling. Basically, uh, FTB LT mine is in here, and that is uh, going to make your mining abilities so much faster. Even though you, you start out pre-stone access, um, but it's not necessarily stone age. Uh, so let's see, we've got Tetra is in here which is, is good to know. Uh, it's definitely a, a good tools mod that will allow you to customize your tools and items in a lot of different ways. Uh, Serene Seasons is in here, which is going to change some of the, the weather variations. Uh, temperate biomes uh, will transform across four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And then tropical biomes uh, will occur two seasons, wet and dry, which, yeah, <laughs> it makes me think that we, we might we might be in something a bit more interesting um, at the moment. So I'm probably going to move uh, on to another spot once we get started. Across these seasons, you'll experience changes in the color of the grass and leaves and changes in the amount of rain. There also is the chance of snow in biomes that don't normally experience it. With its changing seasons, farming is affected. For further info on the changes, check the farming chapter. But for now, I'm just going to take the free bread. Sounds good. FTB Ulti Mine. This allows you to basically mine a whole lot of blocks at once. Uh, you can customize it to different shapes and stuff like that. Uh, I think there's even a key binding for it uh, for changing those shapes and whatnot. I'll, I'll look those up if I need them. Young's Better Portals is in here. This basically eliminates nether portals and means that you now need to find uh, a nether portal pool and then you can go to the nether from there. And when you want to come back, you have to find another uh, altar, complete it, and then you can come back with that. Now, the good thing is, is that uh, you can actually bucket up the pool that you find and move that back to your base, allowing you a certain measure of customization for uh, getting to the nether uh, and back, you know, setting up your own portal and whatnot. Uh, that corpse. You died, that sucks, never fear, your stuff won't disappear. With the corpse mod, your inventory will remain on a corpse of your character model at the death point until you claim it. 
Right click your corpse to bring up its inventory and all your goodies back. After an hour of game time, your corpse will turn into a skeleton. Never fear, it still has your stuff. <laughs> just looks a little different get a little bit of free food or, or planting stuff i don't know spice of life potato edition will give you benefits for eating a variety of foods which is good there's a big chapter in here on all sorts of different stuff that you can get with uh different food varieties uh but it means your diversity score is constantly and dynamically changing depending on what your current and past diet thus you can have many benefits after eating a diverse set of foods for a time but falling back to eating only bread will gradually result in a loss or weakening of gained benefits so you don't lose stuff uh you don't get any negatives but by eating a variety of things you'll be gaining buffs not just you know uh the variety of that so that that's good get ourselves a well that's a baked potato as well i guess i'm gonna have to eat that one project mmo now this is a big change from the previous one that i showed you guys um in the past it limited you to gaining access to so many different tools and weapons i actually really liked that myself this change here has made it so that it's um there's very little if no punishment at all and it's mostly uh, focused on just giving you benefits for different things. So as you level up different abilities, you'll unlock different bonuses associated with the abilities. Some of them are mining means that you'll get a better mining speed with each level. Excavation, a chance to find treasures while digging. Combat, you get more damage dealt with weapons and so on. And you can create parties and uh, you can check those stats out by pressing the P key. Though keep in mind there's a lot of keybinds that are currently conflicting in this uh, mod pack you will probably have to change them so if you're pressing a button and it doesn't do anything you're going to want to change that up so we've got lots of different stuff but it explains each one agility this is you just running around sprinting jumping uh, saving fall damage chance probability of occurring when taking fall damage higher levels of agility will grant a number of advantages so this is the the advantages of training agility which is more or less just running and jumping uh, for the most part i mean yeah there's this one here but faster sprinting higher sprint and crouch jumps and a higher chance of saving fall damage which makes sense because that's what you're doing with those things sort of sort of like an mmo hey yeah yeah the, think valheim maybe uh but the swimming it's gained by going swimming in the lakes rivers and oceans high levels of swimming will grant two advantages underwater night vision and the ability to stay underwater longer i think this is actually really good because uh, i i like having the night vision underwater that's really slick um, but the, it won't unlock until level 25, so that's going to be a bit. Uh, swimming to a lesser extent, endurance will work together to extend your ability to stay underwater. So that, that's kind of a breathing mechanic. Uh, it's it's nice. Flying. This is gained by flying around with an elytra. There's no bonus for higher levels of the skill. Um, I don't know why it's even there, but you get bonus from it. <laughs> endurance skill you get by taking damage from any source falling getting hit by mobs etc standing on a cactus higher levels of endurance will decrease the amount of damage taken from hits and increases the amount of extra hearts you have it also contributes to how long you can stay underwater now some people are like oh, why am i getting rewarded for taking damage well for those of you that still want to play the pack and are just you know getting killed all the time from mobs or something along those lines this is basically going to help bring you back up to a level that might be a little bit easier for you to survive with. Think of it that way. Uh, but it is it is going to kind of help. Uh, it also contributes to how long you can stay underwater, which is cool. Uh, and I don't mind extra hearts, and I'm going to be hit a lot because I, I always go for the combat when I can. Uh, combat skill is gained by hitting mobs to deal damage. You'll get less XP if the mob is passive, dies, or is one shot from full health. Higher levels of combat increase the amount of damage you can do with melee weapons. Great. Archery. Uh, it's gained by shooting mobs with a bow. You'll get less XP if it's passive, etc. Um, or if the arrow flies over 16 blocks. Oh. Oh, so you, you get more archery points for the closer it is? Or within 16 blocks? Interesting. Higher levels of archery allows you to do extra damage with bows. Why would you... Hmm. I would think you'd get more for it being further away but anyway uh excavation is gained by breaking dirt or dirt based blocks higher levels of this will give you the ability to dig faster and find treasure in blocks when digging which i kind of find this uh strange because if ultimine is in here then you just are breaking one block most of the time but i guess if you're just doing a few blocks to get through an area instead of like mining out everything under your feet then that'll make a difference uh let's see mining 
And it's gained by breaking rock or rock-based blocks. Higher levels of mining allow you to mine faster and to drop extra items when mining. And by this, it doesn't mean that you're dropping things out of your inventory. It means that you'll find more drops. <laughs> wood cutting. This is gained by breaking wood blocks. Go figure. Uh, but it'll, you can cut wood faster and have the possibility of dropping extra wood blocks, which I think this is actually pretty good to a point. Uh, there's a certain uh, setup where your your automation is going to take care of this stuff for you, but it's always good to be able to do this stuff when you're out and about. Uh, farming gained by harvesting plants and breeding animals. So you're not just farming uh, like vegetables, you're farming critters. High levels of this will allow you to harvest more crops from a single plant and to harvest them faster. Uh, I'm wondering if you can ulti mine with a hoe, because I know it's got a, a right click option on there. Fishing. Going out and you'll never guess. Fishing. While fishing you'll be able to catch special items that have the possibility of being enchanted. Higher levels of this increase the probability of catching better items with better enchantments. I'm sure some of you are thinking fishing farms, yep, you just sit there and fish away and get that level up real quick. Cooking. This is gained by cooking food. Uh, higher levels will allow for the possibility of extra food being made when cooking food. So you might get multiple meals out of one cooking option, which I think is pretty darn cool. Because I don't know how many times you, you have like 20 ingredients, or it, it feels like 20 ingredients, probably only three. But it feels like 20 ingredients. You're trying to make some kind of dish. And by the time you've made it, you get it, you eat it, it's gone. And then you've got to craft up a whole nother one again. It'd be nice to get multiples from a single crafting. I, I like that. Uh, building. It's gained by placing blocks into the world. The XP you earn is based on the hardness level of the block. Higher levels of building increase the reach distance that you can place blocks at, which that's kind of cool. Smithing. Uh, a number of different methods. Smelting items, repairing items, and salvaging items. This is a, a thing that's in here. You can salvage a lot of stuff now. Um, uh, place the item in your offhand, then crouch and right-click on a smithing table. That's interesting. I didn't know that's how you did it. Higher levels of smithing give a number of good benefits. While smelting ore, there is a possibility of getting extra products. When salvaging items, a higher level increases the success rate of salvaging and increases the number of possible salvaging products, which means you get more stuff from your salvage. That's cool. Increases the amount repaired when using the anvil, and anvils are less likely to break. That's also cool. All right, I kind of like those. So I'm probably going to be salvaging a lot of loot then to try and just get the base uh, items back from it. That's pretty neat. Crafting. Game by crafting recipes. And there's no bonuses for higher levels of the skill. <laughs> Which makes sense. I mean, you're going to be doing that a lot. Alchemy. I and mean, this is Minecraft, after all. Uh, alchemy skill is gained by brewing potions in the brewing stand. High levels of this skill allow for the possibility of extra potions being brewed when brewing a potion. Yes, you too can be a potion master. All right, let's start. A stick. We're going to need sticks. And to get sticks, we need leaves. And then we can progress on from there. But I think, yeah, it's it's nighttime. Um, I, I think I can break this wool by hand without losing it. That's right. It is allowing me to do so. Uh, in fact, let's... Let's get some wool, shall we? <laughs> this guy's not using his house, right? If only I had a crafting table. Hmm, where could I get... Oh, I can't... I gotta chop these. Shoot. See, I thought that I would start with a backpack this time. I did start with a backpack. Let's put it on. And I already uh, removed my key binding issue with this. But there we go. I now have a backpack that I can put stuff in. So let's put all this, this junk in here for now. Uh, I was planning on making a, uh, a a sleeping bag with this, but I I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the single eat the single item foods. Let's put the bread away because I'm sure I'm going to find a bunch more bread in town. I can plant that, so I'm gonna keep that, and I will drink this. And this is the uh, forbidden travel book that talks about the Nether and whatnot. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just use these to start eating with. Maybe. Safe enough to go out? I don't see many mobs out here. I do see some way over there. Uh, but there are trees around that we need to break the leaves of in order to get this stuff. Oh, I, I can't even break the hay bales to start. But that's okay. It's okay. Uh, there we go. Oh, I got three. That's nice. Um, now I just... Oh. See, I see the guards are, are on duty out here. Let's, let's take a look. There is... 
a river nearby. I might be able to find some flint to get my basic materials and then just run back over here. <laughs> At least that's my plan. Uh, I don't see... Oh, there's a husk over there. And a red squid. I don't know if that squid is going to hurt me or not. I doubt it. There is an opening on the gr under, underground there. I just need to try and find some flint. I'm like, oh, let's go caving, but I, I don't have any tools just yet. So let me look around, see if I can find a bit of flint to uh, start harvesting, and then we can progress a little bit more. Hey, actually that that didn't take very long at all. Uh, in fact, I can't even break the sugar cane without losing it. Doggone it. And the way I'm telling that is when I look at stuff at the top there, like the little check mark, the little green check mark means that I can harvest this stuff. I'm holding tilde down now. Pow, and I have just decimated this entire um, shoreline. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's not good. I, I see you, husk. <laughs> so I got 60 gravel and 4 flint. That's, that's perfect, actually. I'm going to just run back to this location over here, and then um, we can continue on getting ourselves some materials real quick. Uh, I hear a spider. Nope. Nope, it's one of those those creepy spiders. If, you, if you're an arachnophobe, you don't want to see these. And there's a snake. And there's a bandit. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is... I thought I was just going to do like a segue back to the house, but it looks like I'm... This is a really dangerous neighborhood. I'm on the wrong side of the tracks here. Whew. Hi. Yeah, you go, you go take care of them. Thanks. Let's get this thing out of here. I don't want that in here. I'm going to trip on it. I'm going to hurt myself. That's just how it's going to be. <laughs> so, um, things I need to do. I need to have something solid that I can click this on. Let's right click this. I'll just hold right click. There we go. Some flint shards. Use one of those and a stick and I get a knife. Oh, looks like some of them fell outside. Oh, that's the guard. I thought that was that bandit guy. All right, I need some grass so that I can come over here and I can harvest a bunch of this. Now, it's probably just going to destroy this knife. There we go. Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> Fireworks at night. And I could probably put a bunch of this stuff in my inventory backpack for now because I'm going to be using a bunch of it for crafting. Let's grab some of these stones. I hear another another guy. Gosh. He's Joker. Oh, and a spider. Okay, time to go. Time to get back inside. Grab another one of these. Close the door. Let that guard take care of things. <laughs> what did I get? Did I? I got six sandstone. And I don't have any more. Don't let them in. At least you close the door behind yourself. Unlike most of the other villagers. Are you just? What? What are you doing? I need to re remove access to this door while I'm in here. Um, so if I take, what is it, these, three of these, I make some plant fibers, do one of this and this, and I get myself a flint axe. Okay, that's a good start because with the flint axe, I can start making use of some of the other materials in this house. <laughs> Namely, let's start with this, and you notice it doesn't turn into uh, planks uh, as we've shown before but it will turn into planks like this. So there we go, I got enough for a crafting table. I can also put it on the side and get a bunch more sticks for crafting up tools. Now in this case, I just want the crafting table to start with because I think that's really, really important. Though with the, cra the flint axe, I can now actually start harvesting some things like this storage crate here, which is great. I can put things in there, uh, but I think, can I just straight up turn this into Flint? Yes, there is a recipe. Three gravel equals two flint. That's going to save me a bit of time. Pow. Nice. Okay, and with this, I can then just hold the button and get a whole bunch of little flint shards, and I can make myself some tools. Uh, let's do a pick. First thing, flint pickaxe. Pow. All right, and I get that. I now have the ability to mine things and the ability to chop things, uh, and also defend myself slightly, <laughs> slightly. I'm going to put this in my offhand so that I can eat things, eat the potato. That is a terrible sound for, for eating honey, but it's still there nonetheless. There we go. Put that in there for now. Put the flint and those in. I'm going to keep the sticks with me, get rid of that stuff. Oh wait, actually, I think... 
Yeah, I can turn this into sandstone. Does this just allow me? No, it will not allow me to do to do that. I was hoping I could like make like a sandstone shovel, but I guess that makes sense. Sandstone is not made for shovels. Okay, so you can see here I've got a bunch of things already completed. Yes, I got the gravel, I got the sticks, I got the flint shards. It tells you all about these things. Oh, in fact, it even gives you stuff so that you can get that uh, the grass fibers, which I think I did in the previous version. Get a little bit of food. Glad I emptied out my inventory. And a crafting table. Grab that too. And then it moves on and splits off to a lot of a lot of stuff. We've got fire starters, interactions with a crafting table. This is just like a little achieve thing. 256 interactions will get you. Uh, is this a stone coin or something like that? I, I'm not really sure. But it is a money item that when you when you hover the mouse pointer over the left side, this shows you all the different things that you can, like all the different chapters. First steps is what we're in right now. Outstanding in a field. We've got a bunch of things over here. I'm not going to click on these to collect them because they're they're going to give me levels and I, I still may die very easily early on. You've got different stats in here, but what I'm looking at is currency exchange. Like here, there we go. Stone, stone coins. I think I, I didn't really go over this very much previously, but if I turn this in, uh, it looks like, oh, I get a, a bone, right? No, you get a random mob drop. This one here, you get a mob drop. And you can see you get like these little uh, chests, and then you get a possibility of getting all sorts of different stuff. Stone coins, uh, let's see, you can get some different options here. Each one is going to be a different type of reward. And then some of them are just straight up. You get, you know, your regular old uh, armor and whatnot. Uh, what is this? Point two. I don't even know what that is. Just some kind of potion. Is that a bottle of water? Uh oh. There's a bandit. Oh, he's got one of those sharpness swords. Can I get that from him? Come here. Ah, uh, he died and dropped a golden nugget. Dang, so close. So close. Oh, there's a there's a villager. Come here, spider. I need you to die. Cause I want your string. I don't really care about the, the spider eye as much. So, let's see what's next in our, our book of stuff. Actually, while, I've, while I'm thinking about it, I did this before. Uh, let me open up my inventory. I've got all this wool. Let's, instead of making a bed, because I'm just going to spawn nearby, let's make a sleeping bag. Perfect. At least, to me, that's perfect. That sounds great. Put those in there. And then I've got some food that needs to come out. Let's get rid of all these seeds and other stuff. All right, so you know how I've been using my quest book in my hand? I don't actually even need that. Instead, I can just open my inventory and in the top left, I can click up here. And then I can go to whatever my quests are. So I don't even need to take up inventory space with that, which is kind of nice. Uh, I'm, I don't really want to make a maquahatl, because uh, I've seen one of those before. I might do that quest later on. Um, fire starter I'm not too bothered with and I think there it is a maqua whittle um, is what I'm guessing it is slime balls bones gunpowder wait a minute what oh interesting okay so I do have to get that in order to open up these tasks but I'm not in a hurry to get those either that's just telling you to do stuff ah time to explore if I can make my own tools that's right a wooden hammer which is going to require... Oh, I can do that with wood planks? Oh, that's right. Or you can use stone. Um, let's actually go out and harvest something, shall we? I see a little bit of XP over here. I don't know where that snake went. And I see a squid over there. Um, I'm kind of thinking that for me to harvest this stuff, let's actually go into the water. Look, I'm doing swimming skills right now. Whee! Okay, and this is, well, this is a very pretty biome. Lush hills. It's got flowers all over the grass. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then I, I want to actually harvest stuff. Though. Oh, here we go. This will work because there's some stone here. So I can just hold this down. Get myself a bit of stone. Perfect. I got 60 stone from that. I think that was a pretty good trade up for the uh, that little pick that I had. This is going to allow me to make all sorts of tools, but I also see this. Aha, I got another stick there, plus I can make a little bit more from this. 
There's butterflies flying around. It's very pretty. I like this. It's nice. Uh, so uh, I'm, I think I'm going to base here like I did in my other video for a bit. Um, and I think we're going to continue on with uh, this location. This isn't too bad. Um, but I think we, we do definitely need to move out from this spot. Uh, I'm worried about snakes and stuff. Ooh. Plus I got to grab this and bring it inside for now. The, the fact that I don't have a floor is is actually kind of annoying me at the moment, but not bothering me too much. And look, I don't need to make a campfire because it has one right here. And I'm not going to do anything with it just yet. So let's take a look. Uh, I need to make one of these wooden hammers, which I think is just a couple of these. It's requiring a wooden hammer, isn't it? Specifically wooden. Well, with the latest Tetra, you don't have to make a wooden hammer. Um, you can actually start by making stone ones and granite ones. So it's kind of a waste of materials to make one, but I do need to progress. Uh, it's kind of sad, really. So let's take this and get a couple planks and see about doing this. Oh, there's some wooden shears I can make. Wooden hammer. Cool. All right. And that completes that one. And it can. Oh, it's branched out. I could have just done that. That's silly. Do I have any more wood in here? No, but I do have a bunch of saplings that I need to plant. And I hear that snake again. It's killing me. Um, or at least it could be <laughs> if I wasn't watching out. There we go. Is, is there some kind of twerking in here? No, it does not appear that that is a thing, which is fine. I'm not really that bothered by it. I just want a bit more wood to work with, so I figured I would just do a quick plant right now. So I, I have wood and I can now, or I have sticks and stones, I can make myself some better tools to start with. Uh, in fact, I think I can even upgrade this thing. Um, but in order to do so, I need more, I need more wood. Funny that uh, I should mention that. Reason being is because uh, I will convert this. Actually, no, I don't need it now that I think about it. Here, watch this. So I right click and I turn this into a Tetra table. Then I can open it up, I can put my hammer in here and you can upgrade the different parts. Now in the previous versions of Tetra, um, there was lots of like, make this to make that, to make this, to make that. Now you can actually make um, in Tetra itself, these racks, which they do require iron and some slabs. But when you put these racks nearby, like on the wall or something within, I think it's like a block or two, of your workbench, your Tetra workbench, uh, it will then use whatever tool you put on there while working in this. So you don't have to have it in your inventory anymore, which is really key. So you can have your own little workshop space for this. Now, the other thing of this is that if I break this, it reverts back into a regular crafting table. So I don't actually waste the block in some way, shape or form, or I don't have to have both. I can actually use it as either. But for now, we're going to do this. And then I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to change this into uh, another hammerhead with this. And then we're going to do the same thing at the other end. Hammerhead. Oh, gosh, the snakes around me. It's just driving me nuts. <laughs> the flimsy handle I can't replace unless I get some actual wood planks at this point. Uh, but for now, this is a good start for uh, getting into Tetra, uh, especially if I want to upgrade something like this. I could change it from a pick into an axe or something like that. Let's do this. We can make it a, an axe head at one side. So I've got a, a, a pick mattock, basically. Uh, no, no, actually, I think it is a mattock, which is like a pick at one side. No, no, I think I've still got it wrong. But anyway, it's basically an axe. Oh, it's eight. That's not bad. Uh, and it's a pick. Um, and I just realized I already have an axe, though. So let's change this up to something else. I want some, I've got some sticks, but I'm going to switch this back. Let's change this axe into, into a hoe head. There we go. So we've got a stone, we've got a pick and a hoe, which is just fine. That, that just makes it a multi-tool for me right now. Uh, it's so early on that I'm not worried about it. These flint tools don't really work in here, which is fine for me, honestly. I can still use this thing to uh, just kind of harvest some stuff. But uh, if I use it right now, I'm going to make myself a little something different. 
I'm going to make myself a shovel. And then I'm going to change... Oh, I think that was... One of the villagers came by and just like killed that spider. That was pretty good. Hit here, open this up, put the shovel in here, and I think I can turn it into a weapon. Um, let's see, shovel head, spear head. There we go. We're going to do this. We're going to turn it into a spear. And then I think that handle itself, we can do a long handle, which uh, a longer handle that yields longer reach. Or we can go with a light handle, which uh, I can throw it then. So that's what I'm going to do here. Craft. And I got that back. And now I think, yep, I have a ranged weapon to start with, which is pretty cool considering that it's now nighttime as well. <laughs> I'm really curious to, to go out and hunt some, some critters with this, but let's continue on. We're supposed to be making these different things here. A flint shovel, for example. I did not make that. And honestly, I'm not too bothered with it right now. I might do it later on when I've got a plentitude of uh, materials. Oh, I do need... Um, let's put this here for now. I do need... Um, some more materials for this here. Uh, some wood. This hasn't grown yet, so let's see if I can just harvest this one. I think I'll just use my uh, ultimine. There we go. Get myself a few wood planks. As this is partial hoe... Oh, it does work. I can now mine these. Nice! And I now have a bunch of bread, so I at least have a basic food resource to start with. That's lovely. <laughs> farming level up. Great. I'm leveling up my farming by harvesting a bunch of wheat that's already been harvested. Ooh, fireworks. So here's another thing that's worthy of keeping the, the flint axe around for is that I can use it to then convert my oak logs into oak planks and thus using up the durability of it instead of my stone axe. So that's already something pretty darn good. Let's try out this spear, because I don't think it does... Oh, stone javelin, excuse me, 6 and 1.5. So I think... Oh, jeez. Okay, let's run away from this guy real quick and throw this at him. <laughs> and then see if it's not really stopping him. Okay, that's hurting a lot. Run, run, run. There's lots of bandits around. Okay, he's not dead yet. Why are you not dead yet? Okay, jeez. <laughs> okay, so the spears are good, but those guys got a lot more health than I thought that they would have. <laughs> oh, daytime has come, and it's time for me to eat some more food. <laughs> now, when you first make uh, one of these workbenches with Tetra, you get a hollow sphere. Something you should know about this. Don't lose it. You can make more, uh, you know, some metal scrap that you find in some ruins underground in colder biomes as well as taiga biomes, um, wrapping them around a redstone lamp. Um, but you can use this to find more ruins by upgrading it on here as well. To give an example, I can put it in this place here, and you can see it has dim core, ancient frame, so there's no upgrades available for that or this. But it's got different attachment slots here. So you can expand its scanning ability. Let's just choose the first one, scanner, put an eye of ender in here, and then you can uh, adjust that as well. And you can put another one in here as well. So you can make this thing actually turn into a pretty good uh, finder for you of different underground ruins for Tetra. Uh, not that I've gotten, I don't think I've gotten as far as I did last time. I think it was uh, pretty darn short. I still need to make some of these things. I can at least make uh, some wooden shears, and that should complete that quest. There we go. Oh, and any Minecraft leaves. Okay, that's fair enough. Let me see if I... Oh, look, a tree just sprouted. What good timing. Let's just grab one of these. And we're set. <laughs> Close that. Open up the chest, or the quest book. And we got some, some free grass. Yay. Oh, hey, look. Two to three nuggets if I make a flint shovel. That's actually worth it because um, I want... Wait, what is it for a flint shovel? Let's look up flint shovel. Okay, that's not too bad. I can take some of this, some of these. I've got some sticks. Uh, can I make this? Uh, oh, I can't in this version. I need to actually cut this up. 
<laughs> replace it, try again because that was the uh, the wrong type of thing. There we go. Okay, so now I got that, and I should be able to just get from this quest a couple of iron nuggets, which is great. Reason being is I have enough wood that I can make planks, and then I could take this, these, and I can make a rack. Yes, and I can put this nearby, and I can hang on it a stone hammer, which if that's a required tool for anything that, that is needed in... Well, first let me convert this. There we go. That is needed for anything in here, uh, like a stone javelin or something like that, in order to change this, uh, like I can serrate it. You can upgrade this. It requires a tier 3 hammer. My hammer, I believe, is just tier 2. Uh, it would need to be an iron one uh, in order for it to progress, but it would detect it and allow me to change it. Um, so in this case, see tempering? Yeah, it still requires level 3 shovel head. Yeah, see, I could do this, but it would require also some sort of tool in order to be able to convert it back. For now, though, I'm still going to keep this one one shot javelin. I might switch it out for a spear. I might just, uh, you know, turn it into a shovel. I don't know. All right, so I went and harvested a little bit more wood uh, from some of the trees that were popping up out there just so that I could do one more thing. Get one more quest achieved before we uh, finish here. Let's see here. I need to put this down and get a bunch of wood and then I think I can make a regular old chest. Yay! And that should get me started up here. I, I still need to make a hoe, but again, that's just for XP levels, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but there we go. We now get... Oh! Store all that junk you know you are carrying. Yep, a gold nugget, a wooden coin, some some other rewards. What did, what did we get here? This is jungle chests from Quark. Okay, so that's cool. And we've got regular chests. A wooden coin. Can I buy anything straight away with the currency exchange? I can. Oh, that's that's just for that. Here, one of them will get me 64 granite or 64 diorite. Ooh, or andesite. If create is in here, which it is not, then that would make a big difference. So let's see here. We could get sand. I'm, I'm in a, a sand biome, so that's not as bad. I could get a cake, a potato, a regular wooden, uh, a regular potato. So I could plant that. That's not bad. Uh, or I could get one of those. Let's actually get oh, 32 potatoes. That works for me. I will take 32 potatoes. That means I can plant that up and I can start make, doing some variety. All right. So there wasn't too much that I did this episode short of just some basics starting up. I figured you guys wouldn't mind if we did that. Uh, I'm just going to harvest a bit of these, get them out of the way. I'm not going to stay in this house for too much longer. Um, I figure we're going to take a bunch of this stuff around with us and go and go places. But, oh wow, what a mess. Um, <laughs> I still need more materials before I can actually build very much. And I do kind of like that this has access to a little farm right here that is just so darn convenient. Jesus, fireworks are scaring the heck out of me. Um, including that it's got like this little area here for all sorts of uh, stuff to to be found. Let's put some of these here. Pick that up and get rid of that. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do between episodes is probably plant a bit of stuff. Um, I think where'd my my hoe go? I can start tilling all this here. My my hoe pick. <laughs> I can start uh, planting some of these uh, crops just to start with, get myself a good base to, to run with. I know I've got a lot of bread, but it's also a good idea for me to get uh, a bunch more of a secondary meal as well, just so that I'm not always getting bread. Um, and then maybe in the future uh, episode, there we go, we can be uh, set for a longer journey for going off into someplace else, or maybe it'll just be nearby. I didn't explore too much on here. This looks really pretty over here. Now oh, it just kind of gets very vibrant and and uh, verdant. <laughs> I also see that we've got an area up here. Maybe this guy has some horses we can steal. I mean borrow. Plus, I need to uh, loot the entire rest of the village for all that they're worth. Um, definitely worth pursuing. Let's open up my backpack 
keep my food in there. So um, for now though, I hope you all enjoyed this little uh, video on Engineers Life 2, the released version, not just the beta. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, check out the little backpack I've got. Oh. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Come visit us on Twitch because we stream, uh, you know, a few times a week. And uh, don't be afraid to spread the mischief to others. And until next time, folks, I'll see you. Bye.